value your time. That's the topic we're going to talk about here today on Self Love Monday. This is Ron Simplified Myers, your Uplifting Life Partner. I want to welcome you guys. For those of you who haven't talked to me before, I am the author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook, Get Rid of Your Problems, Not Your Partner. Well, what made me actually uh, get into this particular topic? Because you guys have always heard the saying that if you don't value your time, other people will use it. Folks, I know you guys have experienced that a lot in your lives where people are more than happy to use up your time if you don't think it's important. But what really brought me to this topic today was uh, something I saw. I'll actually read it to you. It actually says, until you value yourself, you won't value your time. Until you value your time, you will not do anything with it. Woo! Folks, that's powerful. As soon as I saw it, I was like, okay, that's the topic we're going to talk about. Because um, a lot of people don't really take that seriously. Uh, we'll let anybody just use our time. Uh, it takes place in relationships. It's kind of when we talk about being with the wrong person and you know they're the wrong person, but you're settling just so you could be with someone. Folks, that's wasting your time. You're taking away the most valuable asset you have. It is the only thing that you can't get back. Think about that. It is the only thing you can't get back. All the outside stuff, you guys know I talk about that all the time. You can gain all the outside stuff, the cars, the homes, and lose it. But you can get it back too. Or you can not have it and go get it. But time, once it starts to leave, it's gone. There's nothing you can do. To get it back. And that's also some of the challenges why people are having the issues in their lives is because they keep looking back and they go, and we talked about this last week, where they look at their age and they go, I haven't accomplished certain things in my life. And it takes them into a depressed state of being. But here's the key. You don't have enough time to sit here now thinking about that and worried about it. <laughs> Think about it. You can't, you can't do anything about it. It's over with. That time is done. It's gone. The question is, what you going to do with the remaining time that you do have? Folks, this is, for me, and again, this is why I, I, I saw it and instantly said this was a topic I need. With what's going on right now, with the pandemic and all that, it's the same thing. Um, I had a relative just say this, that, man, I'm 80 some years old. What, I'm going to spend the, the last year or last couple of years I have left in the house? Folks, I'm not here to tell you what to do, what not to do, how to live. I'm not here to tell you how to handle this crisis. That's on you. That's your belief systems. And the programming that you've been given, you get to decide on how you take all that stuff in and what you do with it. But for me personally, I've said a long time ago, and I believe it to this moment. The moment I have to stop being a human being is the moment you could take me out of here. It's time for me to go. Why? Folks, I value my time. I ain't got that much time here. I'm not getting ready to be one of those people that's getting ready to spend the rest of my life locked up. However that plays out. Again, I'm not here to tell you you're wrong if that's the way you choose to do it. But folks, you got to think about that. I'm not here again to say what is or isn't, but I know the rumors are they're trying to keep people in the house for another year. And I'm not here to say that's true or not. But folks, if it is, you getting ready to give up a year of your life sitting in the house? Really? Again, I... And I don't want to get into all that, but I'm, I'm just saying, you guys, you got to understand your time is the most valuable thing that you have. 
You cannot get this time back. You got to enjoy it. And so that's why even when I, like I said, when we get into the dating stuff, you got to get serious about that. And I'm not saying, you guys know, I never talk about, because I'm not a person that believes that everybody's an interview when you go on a date. Because if you want to do an interview, interview before you go on a date. The purpose of the date is to go out and spend some time with another human being and enjoy the process. If all you're doing is interviewing like a job for a, a, a husband or a boyfriend, interview him before you go out. Because I'll tell you, and I've said this before, if I pick up the vibes that you're interviewing me, that date is over with. I'm not here to be interviewed. If you want to get to know me and go out and have some fun, let's do that. My time's too valuable. And if you understand the same process, you're supposed to be out here enjoying the process, not stressing yourself out about the process, and, and, and the stressing part to me is the interviewing that I'm sitting here and I'm trying to figure out, are you getting ready to be my baby mama? Uh, you know, are you getting ready to be my next husband? All that folks, that, that to me is, is I'm enjoy the rest of this process personally. Uh, again, you guys know, and you've heard the story. My, um, and it's what helps me stay on track also is again, I lost my wife. It's been six years now. And um, she passed away at 49. And we were expecting to be that couple that's 100 years old in the parks, walking the beaches, enjoying each other, just walking hand in hand and just enjoying the rest of this journey. But there were other plans beyond what we knew. And you guys know, she, you know, like I said, again, she passed away six years ago. And so it's really brought to attention that's a young age to leave here at 40. Any age is, is an age. You guys have heard me talk about the uh, the song where the guy said 100 years is a, is a short time to live and to love. And it is. It's a short time. And the majority of us will never, ever see 100. So you ain't got that much time. You got to start to enjoy it. So don't run out of here out of your house <laughs> during this era, this pandemic, and say, I came out because Ron said, I ain't told you to do nothing. I said, enjoy your time. If you want to stay in the house, figure out how to enjoy it there because you still, the, still the time is being spent. Uh, again, no matter what the plans are, or what people are trying to do or not do or any of that kind of stuff, time is still passing. You have to decide if you're going to sit at home and be miserable watching the TV, watching the news, who's doing what and all that kind of getting depressed. Folks, this this is it. This is this the only time you're getting. You know, we just talked about your body. You know, again, we talked about that last about taking care of that. It's the only one you're getting. So we got to take care of it. The body and then we got to do the same thing with our time. We can't get it back. You got to enjoy it. And again, you decide what you want to do with that. I'm personally not letting other people dictate that for me. And if it's time for me to go, I'm going to go and knowing that I enjoyed myself on the way out. Not sitting there depressed on the way out. So anyway, you guys... Uh, Take the time, decide, understand for yourself. Again, that's why you hear me saying, get clear what you want. All this kind of goes head in hand. Get clear what you want, where you're headed. Go down that, that road. Enjoy the process. That's why I always close out. If you're not having fun, you should be doing something else, folks. I believe that. Life is too short not to be enjoying the time that you have left. So, folks, let's go out here and enjoy this process. Whatever it is you decide to do. And if you're going to stay at home, find some fun things to do at home. Entertain yourself. Do not sit there watching all this stuff and being all depressed and taking yourself down the wrong path. Last thing I want to hear is about someone else who 
you know, sick or, or worse, you know, took their lives and because of depression and that kind of stuff. Um, folks, again, enjoy the process. Enjoy the road. You've been given this, this life to go out and experience being a human being. Do that. And take your time serious. And as you guys know, it ain't right. It ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Uh, for those of you who we, you were talking about relationships, we'll look forward to talking to you on Thursday when we do Relationship Thursday. And then for those of you who, you know, we're, we're totally focused on ourselves at this point and getting ourselves together, which is to me where it all starts. That's on Mondays. And that's Self Love Monday. So I look forward to seeing you on Self Love Monday. But whatever you guys do, as I just said, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. And I'll talk to you guys later. Take care and enjoy your journey. Bye-bye.